fresh install Ubuntu. Ubuntu proper. This is 21.10, if I remember right. I have installed Inkscape through the, what is this called, Ubuntu Software Center. I have installed Inkscape through that. There it is. It says installed. And I went to inkstitch.org and I got the installer Inkstitch for Deb because Ubuntu is Deb. I ran it. In fact, I'll even run it again just so you can see that I ran it. Okay, see, you can see it's installed. I have a button to remove the install. It is installed. Okay, so it's showing you all that. Let's fire up Inkscape. And I'll explain what's going on and how to fix it in just a second. I just want to show you that it's not, it's not even showing up. I figured it would at least show up and just not. I figured it would at least show up, not work, but it's not even showing up. Look, it's not there. So what the problem is, is in the discover in not discover i'm used to kubuntu sorry but i think it does the same thing in ubuntu software center inkscape is installed through there as a snap where's it at where's it at there it is okay uh source snapcraft.io that is a snap install of inkscape and that doesn't work if you're trying to to add plugins it doesn't work and then and the first time i figured this out on my own was about two years ago i needed a plugin for blender so i could export meshes into godot godot whatever you want to call it and just for experimental purposes i installed blender as a snap could not get it to install and as soon as I uninstalled the snap and installed it the blender from the blender software uh, website it worked just fine so a couple of things to keep in mind the snap on this current version of Ubuntu the snap is the snap of Inkscape is version 1.1.2 the apt version is 1.1.1 and the require the version required by ink stitch to work is 1.0.1 or two either way apt install will work so i'm going to show you how to do that if you have to need if you really need an inkscape that's newer than that go to inkscape.org and download it that way i'm going to show you how to fix this and it's actually pretty simple got to get in the terminal don't be afraid of the terminal i'm going to sudo nope i'm going to sudo snap remove inkscape that will remove the previous version if you have not installed inkscape to begin with then you don't have to worry about this part it's not on your system to remove it go ahead to the next part i don't know how long this is going to take But once this is done, then we're going to install the apt version of Inkscape. If you have not installed Inkscape, that's when you'll jump in and you'll install Inkscape that way. Pseudo apt install Inkscape. That'll fix your problems. After we've removed it, snap. It's not very quick, apparently. So when I did the uh, that little experiment a couple of years ago with Blender, I haven't used a snap since. Except for now to show you why you can't use a snap or ink stitch. That's fine. Okay. We have removed the snap. Now we're going to install the apt version. That's not how it works. Pseudo apt install. Inkscape. Mm. Ink. Scape. Fingers aren't working.
Okay, now we're going to close this out. We're going to go back into the downloaded ink stitch. We're going to run that again. And install. So what happened is the way snaps work is snaps install into the system instead of into user land snaps install into system land. So once if you try to add a add a plugin to that system install of an app, there is there it doesn't have permission to run it because the app doesn't think that that plugin is inside the system even though it is because it's a snap. So removing the snap and installing the app which is what it's what Inkscape is familiar with. Now Inkscape can work properly and use plugins that are installed in the system in the user land the way Inkstitch is designed to work. That's why it doesn't work. That's very oversimplified. There's more to it than that, but that's that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Now let's see if we can get it to work. There's our Inkscape. I'm going to go ahead and add it to the favorites. Well, it certainly looks a lot better too, doesn't it? That was, something was wrong with that other one. <laughs> so something was wrong with that other one. It was installed as a snap. That's actually one of the reasons that I left Kaboom 2 and went to Monjero, honestly. So what have we got? We now have Ink Stitch. We now have all of Ink Stitch worked. Worked like a charm. Alrighty. So if you're having issues getting Ink Stitch to work in Ubuntu, that's probably your best bet. Thanks for watching.